Hey, good morning. We're talking about Stick Man Knows. It's a brand new campaign to help people be safer. We'll tell you all about it coming up. Live from the KXLY4 HD Broadcast Center in downtown Spokane, you're waking up with Good Morning Northwest HD. Four bicycle riders have been killed on Spokane roads in just the past year. To combat that problem, the Regional Health District is rolling out a new campaign to remind people the rules of the road. And KXY4's Eric Loney is live this morning with the details. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, guys. I'm not going to be riding or running anytime soon because my crutches, because my torn Achilles, but we're joined with uh, Cindy Green from the Regional Health District this morning. And as part of Stick Man Knows, it's a new campaign. Tell us mm -hmm. about it. Stick Man Knows was started to help educate people about the rules of the road. Everybody can do better at um, obeying the rules of the road, being courteous, sharing the road. Now, I know we've had four fatalities involving bicycles and cars in the past year in Spokane. Every day on the police scanners, we hear about pedestrian versus car accidents. Why is this happening? What we know is that um, for both motorists, bicyclists, and pedestrians, failure to yield the right of way to the other is a major cause. And we've got, we picked out three things that we wanted to remind people about this morning. We, have, we want to put those up on the screen. The first one, cyclists have all the rights and responsibilities of a vehicle. So they're just like a car. Yes, and they need to obey all of the traffic laws. They need to stop at stop signs. They need to stop at stop lights. They need to yield to pedestrians. And they also need to be on the lookout for motorists, just as motorists need to be on the lookout for bicyclists and pedestrians. And you rode your bike to, to work this morning, to be here this morning. And also, if cyclists, if they violate traffic laws, they can be ticketed. They can be. And finally, when cyclists are at fault, I got this off, off stickman.org, stickmannose.org, when cyclists are at fault for an accident, the two main reasons are they didn't grant the right of way to a vehicle and they were traveling on the wrong side of the road. Right. And with traveling on the wrong side of the road, what happens is that the cyclists in the um, car are approaching each other at a much faster rate. And so neither one of them has enough time to make a good decision. And so if the bicyclist is in the same um, lane as traffic and following in the same direction, the vehicle has more time to recognize them and decide what to do. So the rule says you ride on the, just like a car in that right lane. You ride in the right lane when there's two-way traffic. If it's on a one-way street, the bicyclist can ride um, either on the right or the left. Okay. All right, Cindy, thanks very much. We're going to keep talking about this, including rules for pedestrians that we want to remind people of coming up in the next half hour. Lady and Mike. All right, some great tips there. Thanks, guys. And we're talking about Stick Man. We'll tell you what he knows and also some information about keeping you safe on the road and sidewalk. That story coming up. Four bicycle riders have been killed on Spokane roads in just the past year. And to combat that problem, the Regional Health District is rolling out a brand new campaign to remind people the rules of the road. And we all need to be reminded oh, yeah. from time to time. KXY 4's Eric Loney is live with the details. Yeah, good morning, guys. We're joined with Helene Dewey. She's with the Regional Health District. And Helene, this is what you're going to see a lot more often. Stick Man Knows. It's a new campaign you guys are rolling out. Tell us about it. Uh, Stick Man Knows is a campaign that we got funded through Department of Transportation. And really, it's to educate people throughout Spokane County on how to travel together safely, whether you're a motorist, a bicyclist, or a pedestrian. It feels like, it, we hear them on the scanners, we have scanners in the newsroom, we're seeing a lot more pedestrian versus car accidents. So we had two yesterday. Well, there are a lot more people walking for transportation, whether it's for transportation or recreation. Um, so when you have more people using that as a mode, you're going to maybe see an increase in um, collisions as well, It hasn't well, been significant, though. It hasn't been a significant increase, but it's happening. Okay. We wanted to just bring up three rules, or uh, three laws that we have thought would be best to remind folks of. The first one, vehicles will stop for pedestrians at intersections marked or unmarked. Absolutely. So really, it's talking about when a pedestrian comes to an intersection, it doesn't matter if there's a crosswalk or not. By law, motorists should yield for that pedestrian. And the, the other one is, is pedestrian must yield to vehicles if they're outside the crosswalk. Yes, so really being a pedestrian, you have to be aware of your surroundings. You can't just dart across the street. Number one, that's not safe for anybody, the motorist or the pedestrian. So really knowing where to cross and to cross to make sure that you communicate with the motorist, make eye contact. It's not a law, but really it's the best thing to do. And finally, we're just going to mention this quick. We're going to talk more about this. Pedestrians must walk facing traffic. This is the law if there's no sidewalks. Absolutely. Infrastructure is a huge component of pedestrian safety. Unfortunately, there are areas in our community that there are not sidewalks. So making sure that you're facing traffic. And again, when you see a motorist coming to you, make eye contact. Communication is a big deal okay. with this. Helene, thanks very, very much.
Thank can talk you. about bicycle laws, important bicycle laws coming up next half hour. Nadine Mike. Hey, good morning. I'm Eric Loney. We're talking about Stick Man Knows this morning. It's a new public awareness campaign to keep you safe. We'll tell you about it coming up. Four bicycle riders have been killed on Spokane roads in just the past year. And to combat that problem, the regional health district is rolling out a brand new campaign to remind people that you got to follow the rules of the road. You sure do. And KXOI's Eric Loney live now with more details. Yeah, good morning, guys. We're joined here with Cindy Green. She's with the regional health district. And we're talking about Stick Man Knows, a new project to get people to re remember the rules of the road when we're out on the, on the road. When we see collisions between cars and bikes and pedestrians, what's the main reason? What's the cause of those collisions? What we understand from police reports is that it's failure to yield so whether it's a car failing to yield to a pedestrian or a bicyclist and also inattention not paying attention to other people on the road. Now you can learn the rules of the road at your website at stickmannose.org but we wanted to run over a couple of the uh, main traffic laws when it re in regards to bicyclists. The first one is bicyclists when they're on the road are pretty much just like a car. Yes they have the same rights and they have to obey the same rules so go with the direction of traffic, they have to stop at stop signs, stop lights, they have to signal, but when signaling, it's also really important to do that only if you still have control of your bike. Okay. Also, cyclists who violate traffic laws may be ticketed, and when cyclists are at fault, the reason, main reasons are they didn't grant the right-of-way, as you said, to the vehicle, and they're traveling on the wrong side of the road. Exactly right. When you're traveling on the wrong side of the road, the car and the bike are coming together, um, much faster and so it's important to go with the flow of traffic and what one of the things that people um, often confuse is being able to ride on the sidewalk Can you? and in downtown Spokane you cannot ride on the sidewalk okay. in the neighborhoods you can okay yeah good to know Cindy thanks very very much we're gonna keep talking about this also we're gonna keep talking about the program in the next half hour Nadine Mike Hey, good morning. I'm Eric Loney. We're talking about Stick Man Knows. It's a new campaign to get people to be safe. We'll have that story coming up. Well, four bicyclists have uh, been killed in collisions with cars in just the past year in Spokane. And to help keep people safe, the Regional Health District is rolling out a brand new campaign to remind people that you got to follow the rules of the road. KXY 4's Eric Loney is live this morning with the details. Good morning. We're live with Kim Papich from the Regional Health District this morning. And Kim, a new campaign, simple question, why? Why the new campaign? Why Sick Man Knows? So uh, we did receive uh, transportation funding um, from Department of Transportation to pull off this campaign. And we know that on average, 20 bicyclists and pedestrians are injured every month in Spokane. And so this is an, our educational effort to make sure that people are, um, not only know the rules of the road, but are following them. What do you think the biggest mistake is? Or why are we having all these collisions? What's the reason behind it? Right, and we haven't talked about motorists yet this morning. And um, we, we know that when a motorist is at fault for hitting a pedestrian, it's that they're not failing to, the, or they're failing to yield to the right of way of the pedestrian. So we need motorists to um, know that if they see a pedestrian at, at a corner, even if it's not a protected crosswalk, they still need to yield to that pedestrian. When a motorist uh, hits a bicyclist, it's the same thing. It's their failure to yield and not understanding that bikes have the right to be on the road, just like us. And But bikes don't have more rights than cars, right? They have the same rights. The same rights, that's correct. You also have a website, stickmannose.org. Tell us about that, what's on it? So fun. So we have um, tips uh, and tricks for uh, staying safe on the road. We have all the laws pertaining to all users of the road. We have uh, ways to interact with us. We have a message board. You can tell us about your near-miss collision, and it maps it out for you. We have uh, stickman jokes, lots of great stuff. Okay. All right. And there's also the big thing that I noticed about that is that they actually have the rules of the road. It's good to refresh your memory about what state law says you have to do in those situations. Right. Thanks, Kim. Nadine, Mike, back to you. Well, I was going to have her tell us one of those. Yeah, stick man tell us a joke. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> it's the morning show. Do you have one off the top of your head? Well, you know, they're, draw <laughs> they're, they're drawings actually on the website. Oh, okay. So. All right. Well, we'll check we'll it out. We'll go to the okay, website. <laughs> 652, time now for your Good Morning Northwest quick cast, including four bicycle riders who have been killed on Spokane roads just in the past year. And to combat the problem, the Regional Health District is rolling out a new campaign to remind people the rules of the road. Here's KXY4's Eric Loney with the details. That new campaign is called Stick Man Knows. You can go to its website, site stick, stickmannose.org. And the program is just to get more people to know the rules of the way, road and understand that vehicles must stop for pedestrians at intersections, whether they're marked or not marked. Pedestrians must yield to vehicles outside of the intersections. And when you're a pedestrian and there's no sidewalk, you need, state law says you shall walk facing traffic. Nadine Mike.